we throw a little bit of a wrinkle into exit interviews with our next player. It's Jantel Lavender, who, of course, joined the team midseason, had an injury, so wasn't able to play for the Fever this season, but I know uh, will be an impact player and certainly a big get for Tamika Catchings and company for 2021. So welcome uh, to Indiana, and I know you didn't get the chance to hit the floor this year, but uh, what were your thoughts on watching the 2020 season, Jantel, as a whole? Well, obviously, well, first of all, hi, everybody. Um, um, secondly, I think that the season was very interesting. Um, I think it was hard on a lot of players for a lot of reasons, but uh, for Indiana in particular, I think that they, they have a young team. The team had some very great moments, especially in that win versus Seattle. Um, but I think it's promising. Missing Erica Wheeler was huge, but I think that the way that the players stayed locked in until the very end of the season was fantastic and I just I can't wait to join I know being traded can always bring a mix of emotions what was it like for you when you heard the news you know I think 2020 was a whirlwind of a lot of different things happening and I mean it was unfortunate I was sitting around waiting to have surgery because it was an elective surgery um all of all of COVID you know knowing that the season was going to probably potentially start but um it's a new beginning, and I think that I'm excited for it, and it's fresh. It'll be a new start, and hopefully it'll be Gentile coming with a lot of new things to, to add to the game when it's possible. As someone like you who's been a mainstay in this league for as long as you have, what's it like now to be playing uh, for to eventually be playing under Tamika Catches? I mean, I, I get tingles thinking about the opportunity to just be in her presence on an everyday basis. You know, um, back Back when I first reached free agency, I had an opportunity where I was, you know, I was, un, um, I was restricted and I told the Sparks, hey, I want to go and play in Indiana. I want to go and be with Catch. And, it, you know, I was restricted at the time, so they denied that. But I think I really believe that things come full circle. And I believe that um, everything happens for a reason. And this moment to me is one of those things and to just be able to hear from her, hear her input, her ideas on things I can do to be a better player on an everyday basis. I think you can't really get better than that. So <laughs> I know, you know, she's a legend in this league and just to be able to learn from her, hear how she talks, even from a business mind, mindset, a, a standpoint, excuse me. Um, it'll just be wonderful to just learn from her and just, you know, take in all of that, 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 that legendary knowledge that she has. Well, trust me, uh, you're getting Fever fans in droves listening to that answer right there. It's been great to hear, and I'm glad you're uh, with the Fever now, and we'll look forward to seeing you on the floor in 2021. And when that happens, have you had a chance to look at the roster, talk with anybody, think about how you fit in? Because there's an obvious fit uh, with your on-court ability, but also as a leader to a younger team. Most definitely. I think that this team is – what I say, because I've, I've been doing broadcasts, and it's, it's full of just – people who are relentless that are what I call dogs. And I think that there's just a, a little bit of experience that they, they haven't had. The bubble season was was a lot, but I think that Kelsey Mitchell, Tiffany Mitchell, Erica Wheeler, um, Tierra McCowan, they're all just fantastic young players to me. Even Julie Alamon, she had an amazing rookie season. Um, just, just, it looks like young players that just want to learn and they want to, they want to be sponges. And to me, as a veteran player, you can't get better than that. You know, when you have players that are going to make your life easier because they can just go and get a bucket and I just have to set a good screen and just, it becomes, you know, just where you just want to see them flourish. And for me, that's what it's about. Just watching them flourish and reach their full potential as great players. And tell, I know you haven't had the chance to meet any Fever fans in person yet, but I know they're eagerly awaiting that opportunity. So any initial message uh, to those fans who will be hopefully cheering you on in person in 2021? I just can't wait to get to 2021. I, I'm, I'm super excited to meet all of the fans. I had a lot of experience in the Big Ten at Coseco Fieldhouse when you guys used to play there. But um, I just feel like Indiana is like a second home for me. So it'll be kind of like a, a puzzle piece fitting in and, I'm ready to meet them, and I'm ready to get going with the fever. Well, we'll look forward to hopefully a more traditional exit interview after what's hopefully a great season next year. But nonetheless, thank you for the time. It's good to get to meet you, and I know the fever fans are looking forward to seeing you hit the floor here soon. Awesome. Thank you for having me.